Stacy Spaziani, regional director of the North Country Heart Walk and member of the American Heart Association, is informing the North Country about Wear Red for Women Day. Go Red actually began 16 years ago. The American Heart Association saw the need for it because at that point, women didn't recognize heart health as their biggest threat. So at that point, 16 years ago, only 30% of women actually realized and recognized that. Now, since Go Red has begun, um, almost 56% see that as the number one killer of women and recognize that. Mayor Smith at Community Bank, who will be um, proclaiming Wear Red Day for the city of Watertown. We have community partners such as Carthage Area Hospital, Samaritan Medical Center, Kinney Drugs Foundation, Kinney Drugs, um, Community Bank, Watertown Savings, and they're all on hand selling trinkets such as Wear Red Day pins and bracelets and keychains. Um, Kenny Drugs actually will have those trinkets, not only those trinkets, but they'll also be doing heart health information in the stores. Kelly Makutek, a survivor of congenital heart disease, tells us her story and gives us an idea of what kind of support a community can bring to a cause like Wear Red for Women Day. I was born with a congenital heart defect, which means I had a hole in my heart that was repaired. It was repaired with a patch. Every day I'm thankful for um, the care that I get. I am thankful for the awareness uh, that is out there on a community level. Um, just as simple as wearing red, it just really shows um, you know, that the community is with you and we support you and we understand. And be so proud of yourself. We're a great community and I really feel like it's something that we can do in this small token just to let someone know who might be going through it or has, has gone through it that they're not alone. Why is Wear Red Day important? Wear Red Day is important. It is a day to raise awareness for women in, in heart disease. Right now, one in three women, that equates to one woman 80, every 80 seconds who die of cardiovascular disease. And again, it's important because we're raising awareness to show them there are women who have heart disease. There are women who don't know the symptoms, so we're letting them know the symptoms of heart attack. And what many people don't know is that 80% of those symptoms are preventable. With ABC 50 Now, I'm Josh Bond.